Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Cole and I get to speak with Bill Jordan, our favorite boomer. We embrace him every time we, we see him. We embrace that boy all that was the time. A nice man. You guys, you guys just work it in so well. A little embrace the boom book and yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have that book. Well, yeah, I, I have, I to have a mug. A, I wait, have and I have the mug. Oh my gosh, it's like I need a I need a oh, gift wait. shop. I'm out of sync with everybody. Okay, I've got the book. Finally, I got. The I need book. a gift shop. I need to set up a gift shop. Hey, mm. listen, Bill. Um, as we get older, we love discussing getting older with you. As we get older, you know, we look and we say, "Oh, when did that happen?" We say, Some things change because that's getting older is changing, right? Well, but absolutely. We don't always I mean notice it. No, that's the thing. That's the thing. I, and and this, uh, I, what prompted this thought was uh, keeping our granddaughters, and whether it be nap time or just straight up bedtime, the youngest one, the two year old, Ruby, just bites it. Just, uh, not going to go to sleep. It's like <laughs> somewhere, and we all had to have been that way, but somewhere along the line, it's like, oh, man, I'm going to take a nap. Oh, that was a great yep. nap. Sorry I can't go. I got to go take a nap or bedtime. Man, I can't wait to crawl into bed tonight, man. I just, But somewhere along that line, and we were not cognizant of it, we went from whatever age it was to fighting off sleep and naps and all that stuff to embracing it. Yeah. And we never were aware of that. Uh, something else, maybe, you know, growing up, eat your vegetables. We hated vegetables, broccoli and right. peas and asparagus. Now I love broccoli, asparagus, peas, mixed How vegetables. How did that happen? Where did that happen? Yes. Yeah. My yeah. wife's got me eating squash and zucchini, and it's right. like asparagus, and I love it. When and how did that happen? It happened, and we didn't know it. I remember being, gosh, maybe even up to 30, in my 30s, and I'm drinking, not protein, back then it was like the Carnation Instant Breakfast. Dump that in there, a couple of raw eggs, honey, everything. I'm trying to gain weight. I couldn't, I mean, I was like 140 pounds. And my father-in-law, I remember him saying, just wait, just wait. And now it's, <laughs> I can lose weight, but it's its more of an effort. It's more of a struggle. But where did that happen? Yep. And that, again, it's just, we don't notice it. And then the, the it's like vision. We're, we're doing, we're going along great. And then, then, then we're, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're playing the trombone all the your, time. Your arms when, can't get long enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Playing the trombone. And then on a on maybe even a more uh, poignant note is when it occurs to you somewhere later in life, maybe. Maybe it comes to others earlier, but it, it came to me maybe in my 40s is that you can love someone but not like them. Now, that's profound. Well, that's kind of the way I think because it dawned on me. It's like, well, I, I love them, but I don't want to be around them. Yeah. I don't trust them. And yeah. I really, I don't like them. So again, not, to, not that, that that is a downer, but when I've said that to people, I get a lot of knowing nods. Yeah. You, you are correct. That's and kind as of interesting. A kid, as a kid, if you had told me that you could love someone and not like them, that I would have had no concept of that right. at all. So are you talking well, more about I, uh, uh, relatives? Uh, do you see, did you, wait. did that tipping point for you happen with, let's say, a relative who uh, maybe is a, a distant cousin, cousin and, uh, but uh, they, they maybe changed their political views from yours or something, <laughs> become rabid, uh, so you still love them, uh, but uh, uh, you just uh, can't even be around them anymore because seems to be a lot of that going around. Well, I mean, I think it, it can be families, it can be coworkers, yeah. uh, it can be, mm. you know, longtime friends. Uh, just that, you know, people grow apart, people, and it's not that you hate them, uh, it's just that you love them, but you choose not to, you just don't want to be around them. You just, well, you know what that is? I think that phenomenon is a, a, a part of growing wiser as we grow older we we recognize the truth about 
in particular about people, sometimes about situations. But we recognize that truth um, and we accept it for what it is as reality, whether we like it or not. And it doesn't have to affect our basic respect or feeling. We right. just recognize that as much as I'd like it to be this way, it ain't that way. You know? Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like with, with uh, again, social media, where you may scroll across some posts that, and yeah, you can keep scrolling. I, I get along. With, I understand that. But every now and then you'll have someone who t constantly disrupts your post or what you're trying to say, hijacks yeah. it for one reason or another, and then you unfollow them or you block them. It doesn't mean that you hate them. It's right. just you, you're you taking care of yourself by why keep looking at stuff that disrupts your peace. You don't have to do that. So yeah. getting rid of things in your life that are not benefiting you, that does include social media and at times, you know, real life, the day to day. We've talked before about um, the 80-20 rule is one of the practices, my Embrace the Boom practices that Tim Ferriss, the podcaster, instead of um, <clears throat> New Year's resolutions, he looks at a list of the people in his life, what 20% bring him 80% of his hassle and drama and negativity and what 20% of the people in his life bring him 80% of the joy, positivity, and laughter. And then he adjusts accordingly. It's not that he hates anybody or dislikes them necessarily. It's just, it's not a mutual benefit, uh, beneficial thing. People should, what did, what did I see something the other day? Uh, hang out with people who bring out the magic in you, not the madness in you. Yeah. Well, you know, Bill, things change over <clears throat> time. There aren't too many things Right. That we, uh, I, I think of when I first got my driver's license, you know, that was a big deal. I'm waiting a whole year to get the permit and I have to do driver's training and then I have to take the test and then I get it. And then I have to have a parent in the car with me. Yeah, that was a whole process that right. you prepared for, you went through. But most changes in our lives are really, they just kind of happen over time. That's why we miss them, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh some of them are pretty important, uh, particularly as sure. we get older yeah. and we get sicker. Um, sometimes you don't notice your health, for instance, declining, really. You know, it's little stuff. And over a couple of years, it starts building up and you realize, holy cow, I've, I've slowed down a lot. I, I, don't, I find walking really hard, you know, or whatever right. it is. Right. That's it. I mean, yeah, so we all evolve and that, that's a physical evolution. And yeah. there can be a mental evolution and an emotional evolution. You so bet. that's kind of where we were. I wasn't trying to bring you down about the finding out you can love somebody but not like them. But but it is a reality in many cases. And <clears throat> I've told, you know, associates about that. And, they, and it's like it dawns them. They had never thought of that. But they realized that it had happened to them as well. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Well. Either way, no matter how you look at it, it's all about being a boomer Yep. and growing older and being happy. And being wiser, hopefully. And, you know, making better choices. Wisdom. That's or, it. Live your life. Or, or at least being older beats the alternative. Absolutely. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Amen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.